What's up guys, it's Golly bringing you a gold gun gameplay. This is my first one on Modern Warfare 3. I did a series on Black Ops where I tried to go through all of the gold guns because I was 15th in that game and I had all the gold guns unlocked. So I tried to do a commentary with every gold gun and I really want to do that in this game also, but gold guns are pretty easy to get so you've probably already seen tons of commentaries with gold guns so it's nothing special. But since I'm 10th now I can just chill there. Go for all my gold guns, and I, I'm going for all my gold submachine guns first. I actually already have them all gold. So the first one is obviously with the UMP, and it's pretty good. I like the UMP, but the MP7 is still my favorite. And look at this, taking advantage of the kid not playing. I take advantage of him like two or three times this game, but why would you not take advantage of the kid not playing? It's an easy kill, and you can always get a headshot on him, so why the hell not? Anyways... A silencer on a submachine gun is basically needed, I mean I feel anyways, because a submachine gun is used for close range and without a silencer you lose the ability for a surprise or a sneak attack. The submachine gun and silencer go together like a mustache and a pedophile, so you gotta have that silencer on if you want a good score with the submachine gun. But damn, this UMP just rapes with extended mags too, it's a really hard call but Silencer extended mags, best attachments for this thing by far. So, it is December 23rd, two days before Christmas, yeah! So, I'm pretty pumped actually, I mean, not as pumped as I was when I was like 5 or 6 and believed in Santa, because Christmas was awesome back then. I mean, still having that Christmas joy of waking up and being like, oh my god, I wonder what Santa brought me. That was so much fun, but, like, Christmas, I wouldn't say is spoiled. But it's not as fun knowing that Santa doesn't exist and, like, society is making everyone try to believe that there's a Santa when really there isn't. I mean, how creepy would that be if some hobo in a red suit, a fat guy, crawled down your chimney and put stuff under your tree? If anything, if anyone is coming into someone's house at 2 a.m., they're going to be stealing stuff, not giving them presents. What kind of stupid shit is that? So, I mean, the more logically you think about it, the less likely Santa is to exist, but we all know Santa doesn't exist, unfortunately. So, I mean, go spoil that to your younger brother, I don't give a fuck. So, I mean, it's still so much fun believing in Santa, but at the same time, you really can't, because once you know that he doesn't exist, it's kind of hard to believe in it, because then you're always questioning yourself, so it's just not fun to try anymore. But... I wonder what I'm getting for Christmas. I mean, I do have a few ideas of what I'm getting, and I know a few things that I'm getting because I really didn't ask for that much. But if you are watching this video on time, uh, as soon as I upload it, make sure you let me know in a comment below what you are getting or what you think you're getting for Christmas. And if you're watching this video after Christmas, make sure you leave a comment what you got for Christmas. So I think that I'm probably going to be getting Skyrim and Battlefield. Um, I didn't really want to spend any money on those games, to be honest. I, I mean, I played Skyrim at a friend's house, and I, I played the Battlefield beta, and I just didn't feel like spending money on it, just because I'm a Call of Duty fan, and I, I didn't feel like buying it. I didn't like Battlefield because it's too slow-paced, but I might make a few Battlefield videos just to give my opinion and stuff on it. So, I'll be getting those games for Christmas, and I'll also be getting a new pair of Nikes that I picked out of Finish Line. Can never go wrong with having too many shoes. I also got a few shirts from uh, Hollister and Paxson. So I pick those out because don't you hate it when you're like younger or maybe even some of you are like 23 and you still live with your parents and your parents pick your clothes, which would suck, but this might be the case. So if you're one of those people, you can agree with me that it sucks having relatives and or mom or dad pick out clothes for you and give to you for the holidays because you're always expecting some badass gift and then, oh God, they got you this lame ass sweater that you would never wear and you're going to return the next day. Like, it just sucks. So, I have not asked for clothes from relatives. All I ask for my relatives is gift cards and money. Because, I mean, clothes just don't really work out. But my one cousin actually did say she was getting me a hat. So, I mean, hats are always good. You can never go wrong with too many hats either. So, that should be a good present. But clothes, man... God, having your own style is so much better than having other people pick it out for you. Especially the relatives with bad fashion sense. It just doesn't work out and it's a bad idea. So, if you're one of those people that get clothes for people that don't necessarily like them every year, don't get them clothes this year. Get them a gift card to Best Buy or some shit. So, hopefully that uh, 
works out for everyone this Christmas and they don't get stuck with too many bad sweaters. Anyways, this game is coming to a wrap. I die one more time, get pooped on me. Knife out of rage. Oh my god. I do that so many times. I just knife randomly when I'm pissed in this game. I don't know why. There you are. Last kill. Opponent, someone in the back with my silence. The UMP of 45. I hope you enjoyed this gameplay. And as you can see, look at my title. Look at my title. I got 1,000 kills with a Predator missile. Oh my god. So I got 1,000 kills with the Pred. I'm going for 1,000 kills with the attack helicopter and then the Pavlo. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Peace.